service privilege levels and limitations. Now in this video, we'll try to understand what are the limitations of IWS privilege levels. Like the first one is, as we discussed earlier, the commands at the lower privilege levels are always executable at higher privilege levels. Like in the previous, we discussed, we, we've seen some configuration where I have assigned a user with a privilege level of five. And also we have created a user with a privilege level of two, with a, with a user two as a username. So by default, all the commands which are defined in the privilege level of two, uh, privilege level of two, the, the user with the privilege level of five can access, but the user with the privilege level of two cannot access the commands at the higher level. So that is one, one limitation. So you cannot create any distinct profiles. Like take an example, you got a security engineer and I want to assign a privilege level of, let's say five, or maybe let's say 10 here, and I'm creating another profile here, let's say maybe a routing switching engineer. And this routing switching engineer, I'm going to assign a privilege level of eight, let's say. Now by default, you can, you cannot, you can assign same level for both, but the same commands will apply. But let's say if I'm giving 10 here, which means the security engineer can automatically use or execute all the commands defined in the privilege level of eight. And, but the routing switching engineer cannot execute any commands which are defined inside the privilege level of 10 unless are defined in this. So that, that's one kind of limitation. We cannot create two distinct uh, isolated privilege levels. That's not possible because sometimes you may want the routing switching engineer as well as security engineer. So whatever the commands we define in the security engineer, like maybe some VPN related commands like access list or applying some any other security policies. So I want the routing switching engineer should not be able to execute anything. So likewise, any specific configuration relating to routing or the WAN interfaces, security engineers should not modify any specific things. So we cannot create two distinct uh, profiles, uh, user, user specific commands. We cannot use two isolated levels, that's not possible. The same example. And one more thing, you cannot control a specific commands to specific interfaces, ports, or logical interfaces or slots. Like, so take an example, I have a router here. And then we got some interfaces here, maybe F0 by 0 interface. And we got some other interfaces like tunnel interfaces. So we use tunnel interfaces for VPNs, or maybe you have one more interface which is connecting to service border, running some kind of BGP. And you want to make sure that your level two engineer should be able to execute everything on specific interfaces like S0 by 0, S0 by 1, and F0 by 0, but he cannot make any changes onto this interface or maybe he cannot make any changes onto the tunnel interface. That's something we cannot do because whenever you assign this user interface specific commands, he can execute those commands at every interface level. And the next thing is assigning the commands with the multiple keywords to the privilege level, automatically assign all the commands. Like let's say if I assign a user fire to be able to execute a router commands inside the global configuration mode, and when we say router OSPF, now he can execute router OSPF, router BGP, router RIP, as well as router EHRP like that. So you may want to restrict not to use router BGP commands because I don't want my junior engineer or level two engineer to make any changes to the BGP configurations. So once you assign a user with a router specific commands, he can execute, he can use all the router level commands. At the same time, Another drawback is like if the administrator need to access most of the commands, like uh, you got a user assigned with a, with a privilege of 10 and I want this user to be allow all the commands except few commands, like all the commands you want to allow. Maybe few commands accept. So you may end up need to allow all the commands here. So with a, with a local authorization, we cannot say accept or allow all the commands or deny specific commands. So we cannot actually filter in a better way. So that's the reason uh, in today's networks, privilege levels are not widely used because we have some better and a scalable uh, solution or a flexible solution called uh, role-based CL access, which is something a more better way to manage the user with a specific commands.